I think I missed the Mozzy project. I think I did. I remember um he got locked up and I covered it and I did a video when he got out. If the last one I heard was uh Survivor's Guilt, then I'm caught up. I believe I did a review for it. I'm not sure if I did a review for it, but I did do that. He might have also dropped a mixtape when he came out. Maybe I missed that as well. Because I, I seen he was dropping songs when he got out at the time. We here to talk about um, Children of the Slums, which was a surprise for me. It dropped um, April 19th. Was a surprise for me. Great album. Great album. That's really all I can say. Mozzie just does it for me at this point. I ain't gonna lie. I might be a Mozzie stan. I, 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 I like every song. <laughs> I'm biased. I might be biased. I like every song at this fucking point. This nigga tough. He tough as hell. I ain't gonna I wanna go somewhere so bad just to bum the album. I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna go pop out real quick. But at this point the NBA playoffs is on. I'm just watching this shit. I ain't gonna lie. After done, I'm done recording this, I'm about to go watch some more of this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you now. I ain't gonna lie to you now. But yeah, man. We got Mozzie here, man. It's just great. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I don't really got anything to say. I don't. I don't. I have said it all before. We're gonna go through the track list. I like every song. So let's just talk about it. We have track one, Damn. We have track two, Still Hurt. We have track three, Children of the Slums. Track four, Red Nose Bully. Track five, Lose It. Uh, Lose It All Future Friday. Track six, Miss Big Bruh. Which I do like that song as well. Um, track seven, Ebony from 12th. Love that song. Track eight, Miss You Blood. Like, yo, he was going on a run from six to eight for me. I was fuck with that shit. Um, track nine, Jaded with, with Eric Bellinger. Track ten, Living Proof with E. Mozzy. Track eleven, Traumatized. Track twelve, Lost in My Thoughts. Track thirteen, Free Juju. Track fourteen, Act of Fool, featuring Selly Rue. You know, always got to be on a Mozzy a Mozzie project. My nigga Selly Rue and E. Mozzy. E. Mozzy as well. Always got to be on a on the project. Did I mention him on Living Proof? He's featured as well. E. Mozzy. Um. Track 15, uh, I Can Go Out featuring um, Afra, Afria. On track 16, If I Die Right Now. And track 17, Better Without You. Great ending, too. Great ending to the album. And Damn was a great opening to the album. Doesn't stay for too long. 17 tracks, smooth listening. You'll get through it very quickly. Doesn't overstay as welcome. And it's just great fucking music. Great fucking music. As the title states, Children of the Slums, it's just Mozzie. Now, if you listen to Mozzie, we get it, you know. You get the Bay Area, L.A. sound, you know, gang banging, certain principles they stand on, what they had to do to survive, you know. You could say it's, you know, same old, same old. We've heard it all before from these rappers and entertainers and have you. But Mozzie just puts a different spin on it. I've seen some of the flips. The production on the project, by the way, loved every fucking beat on this album. Every song loved the production. Was great. It was great. It's just his storytelling and then how he talks about these real situations and you know his moral system and losing his friends. Like if you've just grown up in those environments or just have lost people to that life, it's it just hits home. Like that's really all I can say. Listen to this album, like bro. I'm like Loki, like. One of the songs, I was just sitting there like, almost shit to tell. I was thinking about my broski that passed. I was like, man. That just put me there. It took me there, bro. And a lot of the time, you know, with, you know, Mozzie or even him saying on one of the songs, I believe it was the outro, like, so I still damaged or whatever have you. And having, like, uh, I'm not uh, going to bring him up a lot in this just for this point. Lil Dirk having almost steal or saying, like, he's not ever going to be fully healed. Like, just to talk about certain stuff like that. And I do appreciate that from Ozzy with the uh, production, of course. And you hear the little Bay Area LA beats with certain, like, hi-hats or strings or something. Like, the pro mm, magnifique. Enjoyed all the features. Wasn't mad at any of the features. I didn't know who Afra was, Afria was. But, hey, I'm going to go check them out. You know, everybody else, I kind of like, all right, I know who this is. And just a great body of work. Like, what else can I... I liked every fucking song. Like, I can't really ta tell you a standout. Like, just go fucking listen to everything. Listen to fucking everything. Great project. 
uh, return to form. I remember when Mozzie got locked up after Survivor's Guild and you said he was going away for a year. I was sad. I was like, man, I really fuck with Mozzie. I listen to him a lot. I enjoy a lot of his music. Like, one of my favorite. And I always tell the story. There was the day I think um, Big Sean dropped. I decided whatever that album was in it. When I was randomly scrolling, I found the mixtape. I don't know if it was a project or a mixtape. And I found Mozzie Fake Famous. And Mozzie was one of the people who put me on the S SOB RBE because I believe he did like an anti flip or remix or whatever it was you know what i'm saying so i want to go listen to them and i started really getting into the bay area la sound and all that stuff and you know i got a couple artists i fuck with like you know what i'm saying so i always give him that credit and he's one of one of the people i fuck with you know the filthy riches you know the O three 3 greedos of course the collective sob rb even them as solo people at this point um bino or little bino um oh, i forgot brody name Oh, he, oh, fuck! I forgot Brody's name. I'm disrespectful. Oh, sorry. O uh, O M B Shiny Boat. Fuck with that nigga too. That nigga tough as hell. Um, there's a lot of niggas. I'm, I'm forgetting one nigga's name. I'm so mad. I'm not trying to disrespect him. Um, there's a nigga called Lil Slug, but I'm not talking about him. Even though I fuck with that nigga, I forgot his name. Is it love? <sighs> Let me type in the name. I don't know if it's this. Oh, I'm forgetting Brody's name. I'm so mad. Nah. I'm forgetting Brody's name. I am. Okay, I'm pissed off about that. But again, he is. He's a very popular bay area la person that's doing this thing so eventually it comes back to me and i'll talk about it in another video but like yeah put me onto the sun and it's just a great project i enjoyed it a lot yeah i wouldn't say any big features i wouldn't even have no standouts it's just an enjoyable body of work that's really all i can say and mozzie always does that for me time and time again like it's just very enjoyable like this shit just hit home it just hit home for me i enjoy this project a lot I'll definitely tell you go check it out, especially if you love rap, hip hop, especially if you like the LA sound, Bay Area sound. Definitely go check this shit out. Mozzie, keep doing your thing, keep hustling. I was so happy. Well, not even happy. I didn't even understand why you signed to CMG, but hey, it was a good situation for you. So hey, as long as it's good for you, bro, keep doing your thing. Cause I was like, man, Mozzie already doing this thing. He great. You know what I'm saying? I, like there's certain niggas i've got to the point where that's why people say double xl is not important because you get to the point you have artists like these that's like they might not make it and sure yes double xl has an arduous task of getting like what 10 to 12 people every year but like at some point there's some people that like, how the fuck are they not on here now they can reject it that is also a thing somebody can reject it but at the same time it's like fucking amazing like these artists are fucking amazing Mozzie's one of those artists is just like great fucking project. That's really all I can't sing its praises enough. It's a great project. It, it just makes you feel. And especially again, y'all ain't really know my little situation or whatever have you or certain like trials and tribulations I've been through. But like when bro, when Broski talking on the song or Brody, I don't know, I think he blood, so I, I think it's cool I say it. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? But um when he when, all jokes aside, like when he talking on the song or whatever, like, I just remember certain situations or, you know, you, you could empathize or even sympathize or even understand, like, how's my work and all that shit, nah, but, yeah, great project, really enjoyed the project, I can't sing enough of his praises, definitely go check it out, if y'all got some time, especially you love hip-hop rap, I guarantee you probably heard Mozzie on a song you liked before, talented artist, fuck with him, fuck with him. Mazi, keep doing your thing. Keep making this music. That's really all I got to say. Can't sing his praises enough. But yeah, man. That's all I got to say, really. I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace, shout out, gang. Aye.